If you're losing engine oil, past seals or gaskets, even burning the oil, it could definitely be the same problem. That's right, the PCV valve. And you can see this is located on the valve cover. So we'll go ahead and remove this hose. This way I can show you guys two easy methods to check the valve and make sure it's working properly. Also, we'll take it out and clean it. Even a small amount of debris can have a great impact on how the PCV works. Some of these valves you can pop in and out and they use a grommet. This one however uses a 13 16 socket. If the valve is stuck open you could definitely burn oil. However, if the valve stuck closed, you could definitely cause engine damage by blowing seals and then that would definitely cause you to leak a lot of oil. You can shake this valve and if it moves freely, you can hear that clicking back and forth, then it's probably good, but it's not a guarantee. To make sure the valve works properly, hook it back up to the vacuum hose, then start your engine. You may need someone to work the throttle back and forth, but you should be able to put your finger over the valve and make sure the valve opens and closes. This valve definitely works, so we'll go ahead and move on to cleaning the valve. As you can hear, the valve definitely needs cleaned. I'm going to use some CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner. You can use the straw to work the valve back and forth. Then clean all around the entire valve to make sure you don't pull in any debris once you attach your vacuum hose. Next, make sure you allow the valve time to dry off. Verify that the threads and o-ring are free of debris and that there's no nicks in the o-ring. This way you have a really good seal. When you're finished cleaning the PCV valve, you'll for sure be able to tell a big difference. Reassemble all parts in the reverse order as you took it apart. Thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video.